hello guys you are welcome again to another after effect tutorials in this tutorial we're gonna do a camera fly through a 3d text in a realistic scene and we're gonna be looking at how you can track a real-time footage and then composite a 3d object or text into it to interact with the camera movement of your scene so support me on this one by hitting the like button on this video and then subscribe to my channel do not forget to hit the notification bell then come back let's get started let's import our footage I got this footage from pexel.com. You can use any footage of your liking, but the process is all the same. So drag and drop your video into your project manager window. There is one key thing to note right here. To do a successful 3D camera tracking of your footage, you have to know the frame rate and the resolution of your footage. So to avoid all of that, just drag and drop this your footage into this composition icon. This way, it will copy all the footage properties, frame rate, and resolution directly into the new composition it has created from that. So let's switch this panel to one panel at the moment. So go to your effect and preset and look for tracker. Then select the 3D camera tracker right here. Drop it into your footage on your timeline and let after effect do the analyzing in the background when the 3d camera tracker is done you will see many tracking points on your footage as you scroll back you see that those points are also moving along with the camera perspective just find any spot right here right click and then select create camera and text this would automatically put a text into your scene. Highlight your text and change the text to whatever text you like. In this case, I'm going to use 3D. Hit P on your keyboard to move the text up a bit. Beautiful. Go to your composition, composition settings, and then select the 3D render tab right here and change this to Cinema 4D. This step is very important because this will allow us add some depth to our text by adding an extrude option to our text property. Expand the text properties right here. Go to geometry, the extrude depth, make that 100. At the moment, you will not be seeing anything significant. Collapse the options, right click on your timeline, go to new, then add a light. Change this to parallel light and then make the intensity 100 percent make sure cut shadow is checked and then hit ok change the view to double view the text if you look at the text right here from the top view right here you see the position of the text and if you select the light you see that the light is directly behind our 3d text so we need to move that to the front of the 3d text so select it here and move the y axis beautiful this way you cannot see your text but we still have a very dark extrusion so we need to add another light right click on your timeline again go to new and then add a second light so but in this case we're going to make this ambient then make the intensity 70 percent hit okay you can see now you have a beautiful extrusion expand the 3d properties again on the bevel style select concave and make the bevel depth to about five let's switch this panel to single view again this is how you can track your footage and composite a 3D text to interact with your camera. So if you have any questions, please leave your comments below in the comment section. Also, I would like to see what you will be able to do with this tutorial. So until I see you again on the next one, my name is SSB Otaru for Motion Digit Studios.